Hello everybody, welcome back to RimWorld. Things are going well. Um, we are holding our, off against the raids okay. We haven't had any too brutal raids so far. All we've done is we lost a big right toe. I actually don't think that was a raid, right? That was like a rat that bit off the right toe or something. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, uh, but yeah, our food is going well, our farming. Um, we're about, we have plenty of rice stored up. I think we're gonna get through the winter no problem. We're about to harvest some hay grass soon and we can put that in our barn to feed our animals. Um, which we have, let's see, two alpacas and we have a yak. Fantastic. This yak is gonna produce milk for us. The alpacas are gonna produce wool for us. Um, and um, I think, right, we just got this stockpile zone set up. So the next big project that we probably want to start thinking about, besides the obvious priority for recruiting more colonists, I think probably five or six or seven colonists is going to be a comfortable number of colonists, right? I think for us to have long term. I've never really had many more than that. Maybe we'll want more. Um, but I think we should aim for five, six, seven at least for a little bit. Grow slowly, not, um, not unsustainably. Um, but yeah, I think we just need to hammer out some of this research. I think to aid in getting this research done, we don't want to create a whole bunch of new construction projects because that's going to create more work for our colonists that they're going to do instead of researching. That being said, I think we can probably afford one, one important construction project and that's going to be creating a bedroll. And we have enough plain leather, we need 85 for a double bedroll. So we're gonna go ahead and build it in here. And we can replace their sleeping spot on the floor with a nice comfy bedroll. Um, we could probably also create a nice animal bed. What do we wanna create it out of? How much wolf skin do I have? Do I have enough? We need 40 and I have 21, no. I don't think I actually, I do think we're gonna have enough for an animal bed too. Okay, we'll go ahead and craft the, the bedroll and the animal bed. And um, then our colonists will no longer have to deal with the slept on the ground minus four mood penalty. It still says they have an awful bedroom. I don't know how to solve that problem. I guess uh, we could use some beautiful things in the bedroom like sculptures and, you know, nice furniture, but we have to research furniture first. We don't even have furniture research. All we have access to are tables and stools, which is not exactly bedroom material. I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the speed so we can skip through the night. And, um, yeah, this episode should go pretty smoothly and slowly. I think we're just going to be fending off raids and hopefully buying some time for research. The new quest, the deserter. Teoser Pusrobo, a sickly child, is calling from nearby. She has deserted the army of the Empire of God and is being hunted by a loyalty squad. Okay. So we could potentially get a new colonist, but then we would make enemies with the Empire, and I don't think we want to do that. I don't think we, tribals with no technology, are going to have any fighting chance against the Empire, so I'd rather not piss them off by taking in refugees. Look at all this heal root, though. We're going to need to stockpile this as much as possible. If I see any berry bushes as well, we can harvest those. Some pemmican on the floor that nobody's picked up. I guess we have a backlog of jobs to get done. What is Minyaka spending her time doing these days? Going for walks, really? I guess her recreation is pretty low. She's just trying to fulfill her recreation need. 
Our colonists are also getting a slept in the cold penalty. Is it really that cold outside? I guess at night, it's 60, it's 59 in the day, so at night it might get a little frigid. Well, we can remedy this problem with a quick solution. We can put a torch lamp in the bedroom. This is going to cost a little bit of wood to upkeep, but it will keep the room warm. But not too warm. I don't think torch lamps will make it uncomfortably warm, except for maybe in the summertime. Perfect. And now inside is a nice balmy 67. 69. 71. Okay, yeah, that's going to be plenty warm enough for them. If they don't like 71, then I don't know what's going to make them happy. They botched construction of the bedroll. Are you kidding me? We no longer are gonna have enough playing leather to do this. And that's a light leather bedroll, so that's not gonna cut it either. We're gonna have to do some hunting. We're gonna have to do some hunting to get some more plain leather. Luckily, there are plenty of bucks and does in the area. I think all of these give plain leather. Let's go ahead and hunt them all so we can get a little bit of ex excess plain leather as well. We're getting our harvest of hay out. Fantastic. And I think as our colonists are going to sleep, I think we should probably set their priorities manually because I'm tired of these automatic priorities. They seem a little funny. Um, for the time being, they can both doctor each other. We don't have any childcare. I don't think I want to prioritize bed rest. I'd rather have them working. Um, all right. So wardening can go to Manyaka, sure. Manyaka has a minor passion in wardening even though she kind of sucks at it. Tronka sucks even more. Handling. Um, Manyaka can do handling. Manyaka is not bad as a handler. Let's see. Now, does Manyaka have the bow or the knife? Manyaka has the knife, so she can't do any hunting. Okay, good to know. She actually would be not bad at hunting, but Tronka's not bad at hunting either. Okay, we're gonna leave this um, to go. I think wardening and handling should be first priority, um, especially wardening, because we need to make sure um, they they stay well fed. Um, and handling, that's important, because we're getting stuff like milk from our animals every day. Um, okay, construction. Who's our constructor? They both suck at it, and neither of them have a passion. So... Let's say they can both construct on a lower priority if they have no other jobs to do. Um, growing is Tronka's domain. Hunting is Tronka's domain. Cooking is Tronka's domain. Okay, let's have cook as a level two priority and grow as a level one priority. We can have plant cut as a level two priority after cooking. Hunting can be a level three priority. Uh, construction, mining, okay. They can both do mining, I guess. We don't have any kind of crafting for either of them to do, so we can just take them off of this for now. Hold up. Minyaka is pregnant. We're gonna have to make a deal with a child? Oh, guys. That child is going to be absolutely useless, and we're going to have to hold on to them for years while they don't contribute anything to the colony. Though, if we train them up and teach them well, they are going to grow up to be very useful colonists in the end. But that's kind of unfortunate. I don't think we're ready for a child yet. We don't even have research. Uh, we don't even have furniture research, so I don't think we can make like a school desk or anything for the child to learn at. Well, maybe we'll get it researched this winter. Right, we were still assigning the work priorities. Uh, we don't have any crafting to do, so we're gonna leave that um, undone. 
Now I think hauling should come as a higher priority than some of these other tasks. So let's see. Chanka can hunt, construct. Let's actually have hauling come before construction. Construction can be a level four priority. Hauling and cleaning can be level three. Research can be level three as well. So the only time when Trunk is actually gonna be constructing is if the research bench is occupied pretty much, which I think is fine. We can have Minyaka as our main constructor. Minyaka is a little better. Um, Minyaka can prioritize constructing, overhauling and cleaning. That's fine. Um, and then once all the hauling and cleaning is done, then we just have research. I think this is a good priority list for two people so far. Oh man, that kid's gonna take time of our time out of our day to feed the kid when it's an infant. And then we're also gonna need to teach the kid. We really need, we're hurting badly for new colonists. Our yak is pregnant. Well, that's good news. You might get some, uh, some baby yaks. Okay, let's um, haul some of these stones out of here, especially in the barn. We don't want any stones in the barn. We don't have stone cutting yet, so I'm trying to avoid having too many stones in our stockpile because we don't have any means of actually cutting up the stone into blocks yet. How are we doing on plain leather? Did we get enough plain leather to try the bedroll again? No, we need 85 and we only have 49. Okay, we still have several animals to hunt though, so I think after hunting all of those animals, we should have enough. Um, I don't think we're gonna get out another harvest of hay grass before winter time given that it's already the 3rd of September, so I'm actually going to not allow sowing on this field. Rice is really quick, so we can leave rice um, with sowing allowed. But we really just need to harvest this field. And um, yeah, I think once we have the baby yak and we can let the baby yak grow up, we can slaughter it for some extra meat. All right, and here comes morning. So we should be getting a significant harvest of hay grass today. This, yep, there we go. Okay, so Tronka is gonna get on harvesting after a nice breakfast. Fantastic. Nope, Tronka is having a good meditate in the animal sleeping spot. We should um, remove this animal sleeping spot and then we should reinstall this animal bed here. You know, I just realized we built an animal bed and we no longer have a dog. Our dog died in the last episode. What was I thinking? Oh well. It's there in memory of, of our dog, whose name I have already forgotten. That's bad. We literally have, haven't have been, it's only been like, what, like one in-game month since the dog died and we already forgot its name? That's a shame. We want to allow grass to grow here, so I'm going to go ahead and remove all these trees and stumps because yaks and alpacas cannot eat trees, but they can eat grass. So we'd rather have the spot open for grass to grow. There we go. All right, another day is done. We've had a good day of harvesting. I wonder what Minyaka keeps herself busy with all day. Good, she's hauling. That's exactly what we needed to be doing. Hauling and then once she's done hauling, she can start cleaning. I think over the winter when Tronka only really has cooking to do and no more growing to do, is gonna be a great time where we'll get lots of research done. We detected a logging worksite controlled by Dulben. 
let's check this out. Vlogging worksheet. Um, you know what, actually, we don't need to check in that at all. Because we have plenty of lumber here. We we only really would be interested in a logging work site if we were in a wood poor environment. Like, um, I don't know, what is a wood poor environment? I guess tundra and desert? Neither of those apply to us. Minyaka has some hauling to do. I hope she prioritizes this herbal medicine. I don't like it sitting outside. It's deteriorating faster than it needs to. Why is there a dead alpaca out here that's not allowed? Who knows? We'll just let it continue to rot though. We don't have anywhere to haul a dead alpaca corpse to. Looks like we've already got some alpaca wool as well. Fantastic. Once we research clothing, which is, oh gosh, it's going to take literally forever to do. Oh, here's our dog. Goliath was his name. All right, Goliath will forever remain in this plot of land until he decomposes and dies. It's a shame you can't bury pets. Marriage, Minyaka and Tronka are getting married. They're gonna to wanna to hold a ceremony. That's funny, there's no one to watch the ceremony. That's fine, we can add a marriage spot. They can get married like Right here. That's fine. It's gonna be no one to watch watch their marriage. Too bad. Our simple meals are rotting away in storage. That means that we've overcooked simple meals. I think that's because of all the meat that we've been hunting. Really, we're hunting all those animals, not for the meat, but for the leather, so. We'll take it. A little bit of wasted work there. Wasted resources, but it was worth it. Okay, looks like Minyaka has been doing some good hauling work. This entire field is all hauled over here. We're not gonna put this hay into the um, barn for the animals until it's winter and all of this grass and bushes die. We would rather have them grazing on free food than food that we spent hard work farming. All right, hey look. The trees are starting to turn color into this pretty red color and orange colors. I like that. That's a nice touch. It's been a while since I played in a seasonal biome, so yeah, I don't think I saw like any stuff like that happening in my last playthrough in the desert. I hope we don't have any mechanoids to deal with anytime soon. Those can be real tough, especially when you only have tribal weapons, like a short bow and a knife. Looks like our animals are getting busy. We have a little baby alpaca. When he grows up, we will slaughter him. This female is actually a little old, so if her pregnancy yields a female, we'll actually slaughter this female when um, when her daughter grows up. But if it's another male, we'll just slaughter the male. We only need one male yak for breeding purposes, but all the others we want to be female because they produce milk. All right, and we're finishing the last harvest of hay grass for the season. Fantastic. I don't think any of this other hay grass that's been planted is going to make it um, before it gets too cold. Need warm clothes. Unfortunately, we don't have anything like that. If I add a crafting spot, let's just see what our options are. Okay, here's a crafting spot. What can we craft here? War mask, headdress, we can make joints, we can make a recurve bow. That might be worth having over the short bow. How are our um, colonists at crafting? Tronka actually has a chance of producing a decent 
um, recurve bow. That'll be a winter project. Over the winter when we have less less to do, we'll have Tronka try crafting a recurve bow for himself. But for the time being, we're gonna let our colonists just catch up on the big backlog of work they have to do. See all that wood that needs to be hauled into the stockpile? Berries need to be hauled, medicine needs to be hauled. Yeah, medicine really needs to be hauled. So any other medicine we can harvest? We're a little low. We probably should think about farming medicine next year and not relying on natural medicine growing in the wild. We need recreation variety. Well, I know one solution to that. We can make a hoopstone ring. They can have fun throwing rocks through a hoop. I know that's how I like to spend my free time. Hmm, where's a good place for this? I think like in between the fields is a decent place because we're not using all that open space for anything yet. Uh, anyways. Let's see, a grove of the mysterious ambrosia bush has sprouted nearby. Yeah, we don't want to we don't want to mess with Ambrosia. That actually reminds me, I should go into drug policy and set these guys to no drugs. Yeah. We don't want our guys getting addicted to any drugs. That would be bad. I know they were, s they were smoking some joints earlier when we took them off of those raiders. But the last thing we need is to go through withdrawal and have constant mental breaks because of it. Tronka's working very late into the night. It's already 10 p.m. 11 p.m. You guys need to slow down. Minyaka's already pregnant, man. You guys aren't even married yet. Is that why you guys are getting married? Is this a shotgun wedding? Drama. It's been a little while since we've had a raid, actually. How do we check that? I think it's in the history tab. Yeah, we can see the raids here. I guess it's uh, no longer between now and the last raid than the last raid and the one before it. It just feels like a long time. I'm used to more frequent raids, but maybe that's because our base wealth is still pretty low. I think we'll get more, more common raids um, as our wealth gets higher. Somehow, we actually have $20,000 worth of materials in our base. I failed to see where that $20,000 is in. Everything is built out of wood. We have like a couple pieces of furniture, some food, and a few animals. The animals are probably the most valuable possession we have. Hopefully we don't let them starve or die in the winter. I hear someone playing Hoopstone. Tronka, you're missing. Well, that one was kind of close. Tronka, you're pretty bad at this. I'd expect more from our resident archer. Speaking of, let's go ahead and check on Tronka's ability. Tronka's been hunting a lot, so hopefully he should be improving his shooting skill. He's up to 5,770 out of 8,000. He'll be at level 8 in just a little bit. Level 8 is considered professional, employable professional. He's a weak professional right now. That's not bad. I'd like to get him above 10 eventually. It won't be too long. We just need to keep him busy with hunting. But actually this winter, I think we have enough rice stocked up that we don't need to rely on hunting in the winter, so I'd actually rather have him researching. We'll only send him out hunting if Benyak is already researching. Tronka likes to work late. Does Tronka have a trait that makes him want less sleep or something? Seems like he's consistently going to bed late. I don't know. We almost have enough plain leather. A forester named Jones is crashing in a transport pod nearby. If she survives the impact, 
she will be badly wounded. Jones is from Easter Nea. If she returns home safely, she will spread goodwill between your factions. You can also capture her for recruitment or slavery purposes, but this will anger her faction. Um, let's go to factions. What is Easter Nea? Okay, that's the Civil Outlander Union. They're one of the few allies that actually exists in this game. We can trade with them, we can trade with the Pact of Born, and we can trade with the Treaty of Guaboa. Do we care about angering them? They're pretty distant, so I don't think they're going to be a trading partner for us anytime soon. We'll probably find closer trading partners. We really don't want to piss off the Pact of Born. They're closer by and they're going to be more reliable trading partners. Okay, we're going to see what her deal is. Where was this quest? Active. Available. Lair the Lost. No, that's not it. I don't know. What happened to the transport pod? Did she just die? Did we miss our chance? Oh, here she is. Jones, female, age 40. She's dying in three hours. Can we make it to her in time to save her? All right, let's see what her deal is. Sanguine, that's a really good trait. Brawler. That's a really good trait. Good farmer. Really good social. Really good medical, mining, construction. She's actually okay at a lot of things and she's really good at a couple things like social and plants. It might be worth pissing off this faction and kidnapping her if we can stabilize her wounds in time. Last thing we need to check are health conditions. Does she have any permanent health conditions? She does not. All right, what we need to do is we need to create orders. What do I want? I want a sleeping spot right where she is. And we're going to assign it as a medical sleeping spot. And we're gonna pick our best doctor which is choosing between level 0 and level 1. It's going to be Minyaka. All right, Minyaka, I need you to prioritize rescuing Jones. Let's go. No, I need you to treat already tending to Jones. You know what? We don't have time to tend to Jones with medicine. Uh, we're going to have to tend to her without any medicine. Prioritize tending to her. Hopefully she doesn't get an infection, but we, we're going to have to take that risk. Okay, perfect. Okay, she's been stabilized. She's no longer at risk of dying. Um, why don't we assign Jones... No, we should capture Jones. All right, we've pissed off Eastern Nea. That might have been an unwise decision, but we really need, we need bodies. And she got an infection. Prioritize tending to her, but before we do that, we want to allow medicine Herbal medicine. All right, Manyaka, I need you to tend to her with some herbal medicine before it's too late. Tend her infection. We didn't want to piss off that faction for nothing and have her die. All right. Medical emergency Jones. Yeah, we know there's a medical emergency. Tent quality was 0%. Okay, she might not beat this uh, infection. We're gonna have to see how this goes. We have a uh, mad alpaca. Crazy. 
request available, Wasters Hunting Feldnate. 53 year old Vengeful Hunter is calling for nearby. He's being chased by Wasters from the Cancer Game. He's a Dirt Mole? I don't think we want a Dirt Mole in the colony. We're not going to take on this colonist. No refuge here. Oh man, I'm going to be really bummed if Jones dies. Oh right. I forgot about the mad alpaca. Here I am. Man versus alpaca, who wins? It's okay, Manyak is coming in with the knife. Practice your melee skills, guys. All right. Melee attack it to death. Tronka, you need to go get your wounds tended to. Just a couple of bruises, nothing too bad. Tronka can actually continue just working. We need to deconstruct this medical bed. <laughs> I had a feeling that's where he was running out to. I thought I told you to melee attack the alpaca to death. There you go. All right. The ancient Thea loop. You've learned that a relic of the past of, of the path of Azim is nearby. The Thea loop is an ancient object venerated by Azimites. If you could collect it, you could build great reliquary to make Azimites happy, attract wealthy pilgrims, and bring more people to the path of Azim. First, you need to find the Thea loop. Watch for opportunities to gather information about it. Okay. We will definitely look into finding this thing. That sounds like fun. I've done quests to get information about artifacts before, but I don't think I've ever actually fully recovered an artifact before. When are we going to be able to treat this infection again? Can be tended in five hours. Okay, we're going to want to do that immediately. And to lay the groundwork, we need to make sure that we have the room cleaned and ready. I think since we can't right click this room, it must be completely clean. Cleanliness 0, 0.00 clean. Perfect. All right. I'm not holding out high hopes for Jones. We're going to need better than 0% 10 quality if we want this to go well. But Jones, this room has your name written on it. If you can pull through this infection, then we're just going to need to um, recruit you to... No, we want to convert you before we recruit you. We're being raided. All right, they're attacking us with a steel knife. Is there any guys anywhere else? Or is it just the one? Looks like it's just the one. All right. We've got this. Minyaka and Tranka. Let's meet this guy. Oh, come on, Tronka. There you go. Let's kite this guy a little bit. What's his movement speed? 97%? Okay, we're not really gonna be able to outrun him. I say we engage him with the knife, and then we pull Tronka out here to the side to shoot. Tronka, I think you'll have, yeah, a little bit better aim if you have farther away. Unfortunately, this guy died straight away, so we don't even get the chance to recruit him. That's fine, we already have another prisoner taking up the prison cell anyways. Um, speaking of, contend the now. Prioritize tending. Yes. Now, Manyaka, this is important. Maybe we shouldn't be sending Manyaka into knife fights with she's pregnant. It's probably not the safest thing for her baby, but oh well. We don't have anyone else to defend the colony. All right. Infection tended, 20% quality. 20% quality is actually decent. Though we've gotten far enough behind that I don't think it's going to be enough for us to catch up. 
Yeah, I think I think Jones is just gonna die. Oh, that hurts. We paid a price for kidnapping this colonist. Maybe we should have rescued and healed Jones first and then tried to capture her as a prisoner once we knew she was healthy and safe. Yeah, okay, we get it. Critical emer medical emergency. She's going to die. A rhinoceros self-tamed? What are we going to do with a tame rhinoceros? Can we train it to do anything? No, they can't rescue, they can't haul, they can just attack and guard. I don't think this is worth keeping at all. We're just going to slaughter it straight away. As cool as it would be to have a rhinoceros, we don't need an extra body eating up all our hay. It's not actually producing anything for us. Let's see. The yak calf is a male. Okay, so once this male is adult age, we will go ahead and slaughter it for some meat. We're not keeping it around if it's not female, because then it's not producing milk. All right. Yep, 99%. She's about to die. There you go, she died. Damn shame. I wonder, you guys can let me know in the comments, is there a way to make raids less lethal so that we can capture our prisoners instead of just killing them straight up? It seems like almost every prisoner that we've taken from raids has just been killed immediately. Is there a way of ensuring that they don't die immediately and we, we get a chance to actually capture them and recruit them instead? Is it like using blunt weapons instead of knives? Knives are probably pretty deadly, huh? If we use like a club, it might be better. But that's also just a worse weapon. Is that a, worth the trade-off? I guess we'll find out. But yeah, we really need a third colonist. We've gone so long. Just the two of them. <sighs> Minyaka. You need to slow down. We're not ready for your kid. All right, Tronka is fully healed. Manyak is fully healed. I think we want to disable allow sowing. So this will be our last harvest of rice, the rice that's already planted here. Royal Ascent. All right, so this is another way that we can end the game by playing host to the Emperor, the High Stellark. We can make him a suitable throne room and host him here for, I don't know, like a week or something. And then he'll fly us off this planet if we want. We might do that. I think I want to try kind of raise, rising through the ranks of the royalty. Um, I think the, the highest rank I've ever done in royalty is the one that comes right after Freeholder, I think it is. So I haven't really that's to say I haven't really gone far at all. Why is all this grass dying? Why is it like brown? Is that because it's fall? It might be time to make a stockpile zone in the barn for hay in a little bit. But before we do that, I think it's actually time to end the episode. Um, it's been an interesting episode. We haven't made any new additions to our base we're just trying to survive right now and really we really just need to get some more people in before we can do anything else um if we make the base any bigger it's just going to be unnecessarily big for just two colonists anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time